Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. The Israelites have been scattered across the four corners of the earth, as prophesied in Deuteronomy, the 20th chapter. Here in Israel, united in Christ, we need your help to recover the remnant of our people. Teach them the gospel. Please help us, support us, and join or donate to the Booster Club today. Shalom. seven people and you knew that he had that gun the blood on your hands that's what God said because you knew and you didn't say nothing you gonna have to answer for that that's why we out here it's time to change the mindset give me Romans 12 and 2 the mindset got to change in the Bible changing is referred to as repentance that's right. we got to repent that's why brothers come up and they have all these nice schemes and plots. Oh, we can start a business. We can fundraise for this. We can do that. We can do this. You cannot bring a bunch of people together that's not on the same page. That's right. You can have all these community activists. You name it. If we not all on the same page, it's going to fall apart. That's right. How am I going to start a business, my elder? How am I going to start a business with a brother? His mind is only on chasing women. He not going to maintain the business. The business going to fall. My brother, how am I going to maintain the business with a brother that steal? He going to steal all the profits we make. We got to be on the same page. That's right. Read that. The book of Romans, chapter 12, verse 2. Bring it out. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what that is good, that acceptable and perfect will of God. Read it again from the top. Let's get the understanding. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. God said, do not be conformed. What does it mean to conform? That means don't follow the ways of this world. Another word they got that the so-called white man used, he used assimilate. Meaning what? The world says two men together is okay. God said it's not. Bring it out. You know what they say? Whatever God say I'ma do, I'm not following the rest of the world. I don't care what the world say. I'ma stay in the line of what God says, period. The world says it's okay to get high. God said it's not. I'ma follow what God says. No matter what changes happen in this place, I'm not following them changes. I'm following what God says. That's you understand right. that? That's what we got to teach our people. They don't know that. Wherever the world make a drastic change, our people follow it. What's next? How far is it going to go? My brother, you got a question? What's the question? Why they killing our people? Excellent question. Excellent question. Deuteronomy 28 verse 15. I'm going to show you. Because I know around the time before I knew this, I saw a lot of brothers getting killed by the police. A lot of brothers. And I was sitting there, I'm like, one second, let me deal with the brother first. Remember, he had his question first. I got you. I said, why does this keep happening to us? Are we nothing? Does nobody care about us? I had them same thoughts. But when I heard the Bible, I got the full understanding. Then I wasn't blaming God. Believe it or not, all of that's happening because of us. That sounds crazy, but the Bible says it. Read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 15. Bring it out. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments, and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. You familiar with Moses? Moses led the 12 tribes of Israel out of Egypt. Those people on this side, they make up the 12 tribes of Israel. You see yourself on there? 
You own that, right? So, when you read the Bible, understand all of these letters. Think of it as letters. These is letters from your family members to you on what your ancestors did that got us in this situation. So if I, if I read these letters, this history from my family on what they did that got them in bad situations, I won't be in a bad situation. So what happened right here? Moses told us, this the agreement. God gave you rules. If you follow the rules, he gonna bless you. If you go against the rules, bad things gonna happen to you. Read it again. Verse 15. But it shall come to pass if thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So Moses telling us, what's your name, bro? Kenny. Moses telling us, Kenny. If y'all don't listen to God, read. To observe, to do all his commandments. Follow everything he say. In the church, they say God only got 10 rules you gotta follow. That's a lie. He got over 600 rules in here that we supposed to be following. That's and right. guess what? You capable of following them because Christ did. Christ kept them rules. He followed them rules to show you that you could. Read. Which I command thee this day uh -huh. that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So like I said before, Moses told us, you listen to God, he going to make sure you good. You disrespect him, you don't listen to him, bad things going to happen to you. Bring it out. So let's get, give me Deuteronomy chapter 25. Read chapter, that. Chapter 25. Verse, 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 Excuse 25. Me. verse 25. The Lord shall curse thee, the Lord shall curse thee to be smitten before thine enemy. That's a curse. The so-called white man is your enemy. The so-called Arab man is your enemy. The so-called Chinese man is your enemy. Your brother that's a block over, that's not your opposition. That's your real opposition. They the ones that really make moves that affect our people. You heard what happened in Flint, Michigan with them poison in the water? That's your opposition doing that to you. This brother right here that live in this neighborhood, that's not your opposition. He can't change nothing in your life. Your real enemy do things to disrupt your life. Read that again. The Lord shall cause thee to be smitten before thine enemy. Guess what? Us getting killed by racist law enforcement, that's a curse from God. That's one of the bad things he said he gonna let happen to you. Give you another example. You familiar with, what was that, down south in Atlanta? Or was that OKC? Chinese man stole off a sister in a beauty supply. That was OKC. Stole on her. That's a curse. That's a bad thing from God. God allows those things to happen because we won't follow his rules. Remember the verse we just read. If we follow what he said, we would have been good. You read in here when we was good. When we was good, we did everything that God said. It's the same thing today. When we did do what God said, that's when things start going off. Things start becoming bad. We start having bad things happen to us. So that sister getting punched in the face, that's God doing that. God allowing that. Read it again. The Lord shall cause thee to be smitten before thine enemies. Uh -huh. Thou shalt go out one way against them uh -huh. and flee seven ways before them. It was a time when you read the Bible when we went to war, we used to chase them. One of us used to chase our enemies. One man would chase a thousand men and have them bring running. It out, brother, bring it out. God said, if you don't listen to me, it's going to reverse. One of them going to chase a thousand of y'all. Think about that. Police officer come over here right now, brother, scatter like roaches. That's a curse. It was a point in time where they feared us. That's right. Feared us. Because we the sons of God. That's right. Now that fear is not there. That's why they can hit our women. They know ain't nothing gonna happen. They know ain't nobody gonna stand up for that. We'll stand up when it's a beef between one of us. But when one of our enemies do something, we say nothing about it. So us getting killed. That's a punishment from God. Let's go deeper. Zechariah 11 and 5. What's your question, sir? What's the scriptural reference for the document, uh, documentation of different races? Documentation of different races. What's your scriptural reference? Scriptural reference. Yeah. Got gotcha. you. You read out of, out of the Old Testament. You read out of Deuteronomy and Leviticus. What you're saying here, what's your scriptural reference? That we are the 12 tribes? Yes. Gotcha. Read. 
Gotcha. Read. The book of Zechariah, chapter 11 and verse 5. After I finish up with the brother, I got you next. Read. Who possess us, slay them, and hold themselves not guilty. Read it again. Whose possessors slay them and hold themselves not guilty. Guess what? We in possession right now. A lot of people might not think we still in slavery because we ain't got chains on. We could jump on the bus. We could go as we please. Guess what? If I want to lead the country, I got to get what? A passport. That's a permission slip. You know how you go on field trips? You got to bring the permission slip to your, your mother, your father, then bring it back to the teacher in order for you to go. You gotta do the same thing when you wanna leave the country. How you not a slave? Bring it out. I should be able to jump on a plane and go where I wanna go, bring but it it's out. not so. Teach. That's how you know we still in a possession. It said our possessors slay us and what? And hold themselves not guilty. Do you not see that today? A brother recently just got shot. I can't remember what city it was. They had him in cuffs. How you go from handcuffs till you pull a gun out and you kill him? He in handcuffs already. What else can he do? How can he threaten you? The Bible just said that. Read it again. Whose possessors slay them and hold themselves not guilty. Laquan McDonald, he was from out west. Police officer let off the whole clip in that young man, 16 years old. Shot him 16 times. What was the verdict for that police officer that murdered him? not guilty they tell you the little lie to pacify you say oh he went in general population he got beat up he ain't getting no real punishment for that he not getting no real punishment if it was flip if that was you that did that they would have put you under the jail am i right or am i wrong so the bible's a true book we just showed you that's going on because we're not listening to god we used to scream black power while heron was pushed but at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling These are how our men repented at heart The scriptures is proof, IUIC, we deliver the truth